Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are making our character switching a little bit better or a lot better. We have got it now to where it switches to the character that we're currently giving input towards. So basically, whichever one we're moving towards, and if we press the character switch key, which is now the left control key, it will switch to the character we're moving towards. If we are not giving any input when we press the switch character key, it will just switch to the character closest to the ball. If we are already the character closest to the ball, it'll just switch to the next character closest to the ball. Yeah, we've got it working exactly the way we want. We've got it set up to work with a gamepad as well. So let's take a look at that. It's going to be a really short video because all that we've changed is this script. And we're not going to go through this line by line because I honestly don't remember everything, every little thing that I changed. So I'm going to copy and paste this in the description. So just go get it from the description, paste it in, and it should be working for you, assuming that you've done everything else correct up to this point. The functions that we've added is find player in direction. We've added find next closest player to the ball. We've added switch player. Then we've got some functions for connecting, or we've got in, input events that we're connecting functions to. I'll just let you look over that once you get it pasted into your project. Uh, one note here, I'm not sure if the, if the A button on the gamepad is working or not because it's not working for me, but I'm on a Mac and sometimes gamepads can be a little funny on a Mac. So I'm not sure if that's just an issue that I'm experiencing or there is something wrong with our code. So if you're on Windows and you've, you've got everything working and the A button is still not working to switch characters please let me know in the comments or if it is working let me know in the comments i know it's just a me issue um, but anyways yeah that's pretty much it still 165 lines of code that's not bad for what all this is doing so yeah just copy and paste that into your project again grab it from the description just expand the description out and you should see it and then assuming you've done everything else correct uh, you should have something that works like this. Uh, I guess we also added a ball to the scene. So I just typed in soccer ball. You just choose any one you want. I think I chose this one. Textured soccer ball slash football. And I had to on mine expand it out and go into the mesh part. And it was anchored. And I unchecked anchored. And yeah, that's that's everything we've done since the last video. We'll keep this video nice and short and I will see you in the next one.